Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Neil Zaza, and I'm in my recording studio, the Audio Kitchen. And today, I'm gonna to take you through one of my favorite pieces of software that I use all the time, progression. A challenge that we guitar players face as guitar players is that we're not really great readers. We spend our time actually learning the tunes and, and copping the riffs and, and getting the technique, but reading is always the weakest link. When we're forced into a situation where we have to do any sort of notation or tabbing, we're always behind the eight ball. Progression sort of eases that chasm, so to speak. It's just a very quick conduit from my brain to the computer to actually who's playing it. Okay, so we've been inputting notes into progression by just pointing and clicking on the staff. Why don't we take a look at doing it on the fingerboard? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the session here in step time mode. It's just gonna input the notes as I put them in and just kick it over to the next beat. So if we wanna input a note, what we'll do is we just press the note on the fingerboard and it appears right on there. It's, it's so easy. So let's input some chords into this now. It's equally as easy. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the chord icon right there. Now let's say we're gonna do an A minor. So let me just start forming an A minor here, pressing on the frets. If I want open, I just click over the X. And of course I don't want that low E to ring right now, so I just leave that as an X, meaning that it's muted. And as soon as I have the chord I want, I hit return, and there it is. There's a lot of idiosyncrasies in a guitar player is playing a lot of different uh, articulations that don't apply to other instruments. You can actually notate all of those unique things that the guitar offers. So hammer-ons, pull-offs, palm mutes. And this is what it's gonna sound like just with uh, just a basic MIDI sound. So what we have now is if we go into this window right here, there's various little guitar articulations that really every guitar player uses. So if we were gonna use, say, palm mute, let's go to PM, hit that, and all I'm gonna do is just drag it to where I want it and click. So now, how that sounds, it's gonna have palm muted sound. So let's just use a wide vibrato. We'll use a, a standard vibrato. A little more natural on that. It's a whole note with a stretch. Progression ships with some incredible sounds that right out of the box can get you rolling. But if I have any presets and some VST instruments that I have, instantly I can get my exact tones that I normally use. All right, so I just pulled up a session that I'm kind of roughing in here. And so this is what it sounds like without really any sound on it. Sounds very polite, but let's let's change that. This is really a powerful mixer that's in progression because it allows you to do a whole ton of things besides just level. Progression comes with an amp simulator, and here we're gonna turn it on right now. And you can adjust different gains and different sounds. So this it sounds something like this. You can use any sort of VST instrument that you want to generate your sound. So after I'm done notating a song, I can export it as a MIDI file, an audio file, a PDF file, a music XML file, or an actual Notion file, and I can email that and get that to the players that I'm interacting with. It makes fantastic lead sheets. No more the uh, bad handwriting on a piece of paper and here it is and a lot of confusion. It's very quick, efficient, and easy. Now that Progression and Notion are with Personas, I'm even more excited about the future. These great companies combined it's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Mm -hmm.